Now on BBC One, we go over to the newsroom for a news report with Moira Stewart. In the past few minutes, the Foreign Office has said that the British citizen who was shot in Kuwait is almost certainly dead. It's understood that Britain was among a group of people making for the border with Saudi Arabia by car. John Sopel is at the Foreign Office. Mr Waldegrave said this latest incident once again showed the ruthless and barbarous behaviour of the Iraqis. Protests have been made by the British government to the Iraqi ambassador in London, a Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Baghdad. It seems the Briton who was killed was travelling on a convoy of cars trying to escape across the border. He was apparently shot in his vehicle by an Iraqi soldier. But two Britons, plus a number of other nationals, did manage to get out of Kuwait. The Foreign Office is in touch with the family of the man killed, but his name isn't being released. Our next scheduled news is at 6.25. Now on BBC One, because of this week's events in the Middle East, we've a change to the afternoon film. Maximilian Schell takes the helm of the fortune-hunting Batavia Queen en route for Krakatoa, east of Java. Krakatoa replaced our scheduled film Khartoum because of this week's events in the Middle East. Sit back this Sunday evening as BBC One makes a bigger splash aboard the QE2 for the first in a new series of Songs of Praise at 6.40. Underground and after hours, the Vittenry chasing away all those little creatures. You're infested, all right? And they're whoppers, too. Afternoon, Casper. And what sort of whoppers would you be referring to, Mr. Elliot? None quite like the size of these. Hey, oh. Who's this big girl's blouse, then? You have a beautiful and charming daughter, sir. Indeed I do. I love her more than any pig, and that saves some it. <laughs> it certainly is. Star-studded, the film at 8.35 is There Must Be a Pony, There Must Be a Catch. I really hate to do this, but uh, you're Joan Collins, aren't you? <sighs> yes, I am. Oh. After the news, there but for the grace of God, every man meets those who've inadvertently caused great tragedy. I had to go home, tell my wife that the kid had died, and I had to live with that for the rest of my life. Molly Dodd makes another night of it, and the latest from Shoal Creek is at 11.25, Sunday's sunset from 1. In 50 minutes, we'll be following performance poet Benjamin Zephaniah on his search for a piece of art for £500, today's great picture chase. Before that, on BBC One, we continue our study of the world of childhood, looking at the changing nature of play. All our children. <laughs> 